Now, if we can open up a song of ice and fire, we can begin dissecting the sonata form. So I've labeled these particular aspects of the sonata form within our FL Studio project file. And the background of the song, I, it's my song, it's the song that I created, was for the Game of Thrones timeline album that I written a couple of years ago. And what I was going for was a minimalistic approach to conflict within the within the particular book the idea of kingdoms and warriors heroes and villains so i was going to go for a dramatic piece because you have a contrast you have very strong and heroic characters but you also have very villainous characters as well so that contrast I felt was appropriate for the key of F minor. So let's just take a listen to the piece and we'll go over the different uh, aspects of the song. Peace, ambiguity was there in terms of essentially war and peace. Now let's look at some of the, the components to this particular piece of music. So the first part, very straightforward. I had an F minor 11th playing. Most of this song is composed of the F, F minor 11th chord structure. That's the minimalist idea, is that the chord is just simply expounded upon. So we have our F minor 11, and then essentially the exposition continues into the second piano. So the, the notes are sparse in our piano one, our intro, and then I simply add our bass notes to the piano. If you look here... And the phrase repeats. Okay. This is all in F minor 11. Let's listen to the pattern. Down, up, down, up. Okay, so we have our F, A flat, that relationship. And then it goes further down, and then it rises back up to B flat. And the 
third piano just simply adds more melodic intervals at different frequencies. That's all I'm doing. Final note really is just an extended F, a single lone F4 note. Now the bass I copied. The bass was copied from the bass notes in the piano. strong enough to, to go on at the end of this piece. Our violin solo, which occurs a little bit after our development section, is as such. We have an extended F, and then I do a little bit of magic, so to speak. I go up to F sharp, or I drop down to G flat to give that dissonant effect. Let's listen. G flat F sharp disrupts that normalcy. Now, once this development occurs at our piano three, our third piano pattern, I bring the exposition, which is in our piano two back to signal a change which will go into our recapitulation phase where we're building up all our notes building up our entire motif and then we're about to finish our final note on our coda our final note so the recapitulation so the recapitulation is the high point or really the lowering point the descending point after we've hit our development mark so our development mark is at our high point the recapitulation is gradually falling to coda so we have our roller coaster our intro is initially getting on the roller coaster our exposition is getting out of the gate so to speak our development is our high point we're on the top we're riding and then eventually our recapitulation falls back to our coda. It returns back to the source, so to speak. That's our sonata pattern. That's our sonata form.